Hi everyone, Elite Assassin here, and today I want to talk about trying new games, you know, trying something new. Now if you've been on my channel for a long time, you know I do post a lot of different games. While Halo is my main game on here, I do post Battlefield from time to time, I'll post Titanfall, uh, Gears of War, JRPGs, and like now the occasional fighting game. You know, I have a lot of different interests, and you know those interests bring about a lot of different games. I am not the kind of player who will adopt maybe one or two games and stick with them for a long time. Halo is probably the one game I stick with the most, and even now I'm kind of off my game. Come October, I'm definitely going to start to grind to uh, get back, get my game back, and get just back more familiar with Halo. So I'm ready for the Master Chief Collection when it comes out. But you know, over the years, I've tried a lot of different games and had a lot of great experiences. And I see a lot of people online who are very hard-pressed to move from what they know. And it definitely can help you find better games you like and just overall get a better experience and enjoyment out of gaming. You know, back when I was a kid, I was very much on the PlayStation side of things. You know, the only movie shooter that I really enjoyed was Time Splitters, which is an awesome series. That I'm very sad that it hasn't been brought back at all. But you know, Time Splitters 1, 2, and Future Perks were, were the shooters I played. And to me, that was like one of the best shooters ever. And, you know, it's still as high up on my list of shooters. But. You know, being off as a PlayStation kind of fanboy, when the first Halo came out, I kind of wanted nothing to do with it. But eventually, my friends talked me into trying Halo 2 multiplayer, and I was hooked. Had I been closed off and not really to try new experiences, I might never have tried Halo. That's kind of hard for me to believe. But you know, I, I did, and here I am played with the Halo channel. You know, there's also a lot of different games I've played that I didn't think I would like. You know, Street Fighter? As you see here, I'm not very good at. I'm trying to learn, but I'll admit I'm pretty bad. Um, I do spam the pinwheel kick a little too much in these matches, and I definitely do drop some combos when I try doing ultras, which sucks. But uh, you know, overall, I'm I'm a beginner, but I do enjoy the mechanics. Originally, at first, I didn't like Street Fighter. I'm someone who's more of an Arxis um, that company. I like their fighters: Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear. Uh, Persona 4 Arena, and their style for them is a little bit different than Street Fighter, and I do enjoy those more. But after my friend really got into Street Fighter and watching it Evo and stuff, and I started to learn some of the nuance of the Street Fighter, it, I could definitely see why people love it so much, why it's you know considered the best competitive fighting game out there at the moment, and I really do enjoy watching and playing it. So you know, I gave it a chance, and the character I'm learning is more of an advanced character. I'm an idiot for picking her, but uh. <laughs> My friend did the same thing, he picked a character named Boogie that he likes, which is more difficult. But it's more of a challenge, and it's definitely a lot of fun. The other games that I've tried that I kind of put down at first were, you know, Minecraft. I didn't get it at first, and some of my friends still don't. But it's definitely a very creative game, it's a very unique game, and it's pretty much a do-whatever-you-want game. And, you know, if you really don't understand what it's about, I recommend just giving it a shot with a bunch of friends. By yourself, yeah, it can be very boring, but with a group of friends, you can definitely just set out and just have a fun adventure. And that's all it really is about. Have a fun adventure and be creative and just do whatever. Uh, another game also is World of Warcraft. I used to be very down on World of Warcraft, but, um, uh, sorry about that. World of Warcraft, and, uh, you know, once my fiance got into it, and my friends kept bugging me to get back into it, I gave it a shot, and I got to 85 and during uh, Cataclysm. Had a blast with my rogue, my undead rogue, for the horde. <laughs> and, you know, I really did enjoy it. Unfortunately, when Pandaria came out, my laptop wasn't necessarily the best, and I, don't know, I just kind of got turned off of it. Other games to play in, just kind of haven't really touched it since. But it was a very enjoyable experience that I wouldn't have had if I was closed minded. And, you know, another great example of this on YouTube is uh, Yam Juice. You know, he was more of a Halo player. He's very new to, uh, or more of a Call of Duty player. He's very new to Halo, but he enjoys it. You know, his videos are really great to watch. He was definitely getting better if you watch his videos from the start, you know, from his first Halo upload to now. He's definitely improved. And he has overall enthusiasm and enjoyment gains the Halo series that, you know, I felt back when I first transitioned. So, it's really cool to see. So, you know, if I want to leave you guys with anything here today, if you have a game that your friends are bugging you to play, or that maybe you have a slight interest in but you're not sure about, give it a shot. You know, the worst thing is, you uh, 
may waste a few bucks, and you don't like it. Heck, if you're really that worried, sign up for Gamefly. It's free for a month. Try to get the game out. <laughs> you know? Alright, anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching today. Hopefully you'll have a, a few commentaries for me uh, later in the week. Sorry with uh, trying to catch up on some games I've had on the back burner. I just got a new pet, a bearded dragon named Groot. So I've been a little busy here, but you know, in the coming months, especially starting October, I'm going to try to be uploading a lot more regularly. So, you know, stick in there guys, and you'll be hearing from me again soon. Thanks for watching.